Okay, so my video problem is 12.5 number 1, and um, the directions are approximate the area of the shaded region for each function using the indicated number of rectangles. Use the specified endpoints to determine the heights of the rectangles. So all, we, we have to find five rectangle we have to find five rectangles that have right endpoints with this equation right here, which is already drawn out for us, so it makes it a little bit easier. So what we're going to do is that we're going to start on the right side of where we're here. So like each space is one width. So we know whenever we find this, it's going to multiply it by one. So what we know here is that the slope is um, one half. We're going to go up this side, over, and then down. And then we have that shaded region right here. Then we're going to go up again. Too much right there. We're going to go up, over, down again. Up, over, down, until we get one, two, three, four, five triangles like we have, five rectangles that we have here. Let me just get all those in. And so now what we do is that we know that the width of it, we're gonna multiply each time, so we're gonna have different we're gonna have five different ones. So we're each apply each different one by one. So one, two, three, four, five. There we go. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do one times f of two. And we're gonna do one times f of three. 1 times f of 4, 1 times f of 5, then 1 times f of 6. And so we know it's going to equal, we're, we're going to get, it's going to be the same answer. So when we plug in 2 into the equation right here, it's going to be 1 half times 2 plus 1, which is equal to 1 plus 1, which is equal to 2. Then we're going to go to this one, so it'd be 1 half times 3 plus 1, which is equal to, let's say, 1.15 plus 1, which is equal to 2.5. Same thing for f of 4, plug it in, you get 2 plus 1 equal to 3. It's kind of easy to do the rest of these because you kind of see a pattern to where it's just 0.5 higher than the last time, so it's going to be 2.5 plus 1, which is equal to 3.5. Last one, one half times six plus one equals three plus one is equal to four. And so now to find the um, to find this, what we have to do is um, add these all together. So we're going to do two plus two point five equals four point five plus three equals seven point five plus three point five equals eleven. Plus that is fifteen. And so after all this stuff because we don't have to go any farther than this suggesting for the right endpoints we can conclude from the right endpoints that our answer is going to be 15 with this equation for um, the certain uh, problem right here thank you Ms. T again for helping me out